really do appreciate you guys being here. Uh, I feel like I need to tell you uh, right off the bat that I have a tiny head. <laughs> I know it's not like I come up here and you're like, you got a tiny head, but I feel like I come up here and you're like, something's up. <laughs> and then I'm like, I got a tiny head, and you're like, that's it. <laughs> And there's nothing you can do about a tiny head. There's no exercise to make my head bigger. I can't be like... I can't even get regular bigger because my head will just stay. And then I'll just look like the dude from the waiting room in Beetlejuice. I don't know if it's a tiny head, but apparently I have a very non-threatening vibe. Like, I feel like if I was alone in a room with a bunch of cocaine and somebody walked in, they'd just be like, do you know who left this here? <laughs> I mean, first of all, are you okay? <laughs> I, uh, I still shampoo, which no one seems to understand. <laughs> no? Trust me, buddy, it is nice to reminisce. I mean, not right now, obviously. I, I tightened up for the show, but it gets peach fuzzy, you know? But people are mean, man. I was traveling before the pandemic, and uh, they put me in a hotel with no amenities. Can't always say amenities at uh, comedy clubs. You guys seem smart. <laughs> I swear to God, sometimes I have to say stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but there was no shampoo, so I had to go buy some. And since I was traveling, I purchased travel sized, but I could tell everyone at the store was looking at me like, aw. <laughs> that's so cute. No, that's what he gets. That's his shampoo for the year. Uh, let me ask you, though, sir, uh, and I did not tell them to put you here. You picked this seat. <laughs> How did you bald? Up top or from the front? From the front. That's the way you want to do it, if you get to choose, which you don't. <laughs> yeah, I unfortunately balded from the top, so I was the last one to know. Every day I'm in the mirror like, looking good, Johnny. But then I know I was out in public and everybody was looking at me like, that man's life is not what he thinks it is. <laughs> but finally, an advantage of being bald was during the quarantine. Everybody else was like, oh, when are the salons gonna open? <laughs> A business as usual in bald town. You just shave her up once a week, all by your lonesome. 